Helen Scurring in her book, Beauty and How It Trains Us for Justice and Truth, she talks that way, that instead of understanding beauty as a, like attractiveness, or as Han says, we've reduced it to the smooth, that which gives us most a easiest access to the gratification of our desires. When, and put aside the, the attractive, or put aside the smooth. What about, and she says, no, what, she says the beauty, you, I, I didn't realize trees could be like that. It's a tree. It's like all these other trees I've seen. They all, again, the one and the many, they all come into this moment. They're all here, and, but then I didn't realize trees could be like that. And they all now are, I'll use a Christian term, they're all redeemed in that, and, and they're all realived. And then the past and the future talk to each other. That, I think, is beauty. And I think, again, that that's the kind of beauty Plato's talking about, is the beauty that calls us into the kind of love and participation and the metanoia. And you can hear, you can hear Iris Murdoch's The Sovereignty of the Good, that beauty, what it, but when it does this thing, it actually prepares us for the truth. And I, I think there's a way of understanding that, and that might help to give us a bit of what might Plato say. So I, I want to do both. The issue that is needed for truth is the capacity to take things seriously in the right way and not from a place of motivated self-deception. That's not truth, but if you don't have that virtue, you're not going to find the truth. And what is it to take something seriously? I've done a lot of work on this, right? We have a, we have a word uh, and it has two meanings, and I don't only, I only want to use one of the meaning. And the word is plausibility. It sounds technical. And one just mean, one is just a synonym for high probability. I'm not talking about that. The other is when somebody says that's plausible, they mean, and they'll say synonyms like it's reasonable. We should take it seriously. I think we find things plausible for because of a certain structure. One is what Reschler, call, Reschler calls trustworthiness. This is when many independent things converge on something. Like, the re like uh, if I can only touch it, I don't know if it's real, but if I can see it, touch it, hear it, because if, because if it's just one sense, let's do sight because that's easier for people. If I can only see it, it might not be real, right? But if all of my senses are converging on it, the chance that they're all deceived, right, at the same, it's not, it's not zero, but it's, it's low. And so I've reduced the probability that bias is leading to my thinking. Now think about what all the trees I've ever seen. They're all converging into the moment of the beautiful tree. They're, this is a very trustworthy experience, right? But plausibility isn't just that. It's that, right? It, it's, it promises elegance. It promises insight. It promises to open, it makes good sense. It's opening up. You should take it seriously because it's putting a potential power in your hands to go into many areas and open them up. And <clears throat> that's the other part of the beautiful tree, right? I didn't realize trees could be like this. And there's whole there's a whole new opportunity around trees that's now available to so this convergent to trustworthiness, this elegance for empowerment, affordance. And then the way they come together, right, is something that's flowing. It's got the technical lingo, it's got cognitive fluency. Well, if you have all of those, that's plausibility. But it's, but it's also beauty. And I, so I think what Plato would say is, can you relive beauty as the call to taking things seriously so that you become enabled 
to love wisely. That's what I think Plato would say. And so I think beauty should tap into our fundamental machinery, and that's why I'm making use of her work, and I'm making use of Reschler's work, and Elijah Milgram's work, and all the work on cognitive fluence, and bringing that all together and saying, let's re-understand beauty as this is what it's doing. And this is Iris Murdoch. It, it says, take me seriously. But not just take me, it has a whole person. Involving all of the self, but not self-involved. So love, take me seriously and love me wisely. I think the call to beauty should be that, and I think artists are now responsible for making that call for us.